பெரிய புராணம் த ஸ்டோரிஸ் ஆஃப் சிக்ஸ்டி த்ரீ சைவாய்ட் சயின்ஸர் திருநாளய போவார் நயனார் த ஃபேமஸ் சிட்டி ஆஃப் அதனூர் வாஸ் சிச்சுவேட்டட் இன் த ரீஜியன் ஆஃப் கனாத் வெல் வாட்டர்ட் பை த ரிவர் கோலிதம் ஆன் தி அவுட்ஸ்கர்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் பிளேஸ் எமிட்ஸ் எமிட்ஸ் ஹிஸ் ஃபெலோஸ் ஆஃப் தி லோலி கிளாஸ் லிவ்ட் நந்தனார் டீப்லி டிவோட்டட் டு தி க்ளோரியஸ் ஃபீட் ஆஃப் லார்ட் சிவா எவ்ரி கான்ஷியஸ் மூமெண்ட் he subsisted on the grant given to him by the town residents for doing the usual services he was indeed unmatched in his love for the lord who has the crescent for his wreath his thoughts were ever pure and did not stray into other paths even though forget even through forgetfulness he failed not in his customary duties and services that devoted that devolved on him by birth in his class to all the neighboring shrines of the lord bearing the sharp trident he gave the hide to cover the drums and the thongs to fasten them tight and the strings for the veena and the yaz played before the lord as also the korochana for his worship apart from these offerings he would stand outside the gateway of each shrine and sing and dance in great devotion once he betook himself to tiruppungur overborne by the love for the gracious feet of the lord there sivaloka nathar the image of the great bull nandi in the temple obstructed his view of the lord within so great was his so great was his longing to behold the lord directly from without that the lord made the bull step aside and let him have the desired vision thus earning the grace of the lord who pilots all souls across the sea of births and deaths he adoringly left the shrine with the leather thongs dangling across his back and seeing a hollow nearby made of it made of it a tank to be useful to devotees then he circumambulated the temple in the right way prostrated himself again before the lord bade him farewell and returned to adhanur his heart dancing in joy in due course there arose in him a great longing to behold the lord at tillai that is chidambaram the first night he could not sleep but in the morning he thought that it would not be proper for him born in the lowly class to behold that lord close and resolved to abide by the lord's will still this longing grew apace each day he began to say well well i will set out when he could not endure this any longer he started on the road and reached tillai he hoped that the bondage of birth would be destroyed like dust caught in the blaze of the lord's grace reaching the outskirts he beheld the sacrificial smoke rising in the skies from within the city and the cloud kissing tops of the mansions straight away he remembered his lowly birth and was afraid to go nearer there will be the hallowed 3000 servitors of the lord within with the smoking altars in each mansion how can i dare to cross those courtyards he stood by the high walls of the temple city and began to skirt them around all his limbs and heart melting in love for the lord his hands stretched him stretched high in adoration circumambulating the walls night and day despairing of ever beholding the lord of the blue throat from his courtyard nandanal fell asleep from sheer weariness even in his sleep he, the thought of his lowly birth egregious egregious bar egregious bar to his salvation was uppermost the gracious dancing lord now chose to allay all the sorrows of his devotee with a gentle smile playing on his lips he spoke to get rid of this birth you may enter the flaming fire and emerge hallowed in the company of those wearing the three stranded sacred thread at the same time the lord commanded his high servitors also to arrange the fire all the 3000 gathered before the lord of the assembly in great fear and resolved to do his bidding with overflowing regard they approached nandanar and exclaimed o master we have come here unto your gracious presence to prepare the fire bath for you at the lord's behest at these words the great devotee set out a heartfelt adoration exclaiming ah i have been saved 
द हाई सर्वेटर्स चैंटेड वैदिक हिम्स द फायर वॉज लिट आउटसाइड द सदरन वॉल ऑफ द टेम्पल नोइंग दिस नंदनार वेंट अराउंड इट विद द लॉर्ड्स फीट फर्मली प्लांटेड इन हिज हार्ट ही लिफ्टेड हिज हैंड्स इन एडोरेशन and meditating on the dancing feet of the lord plunged into the flames straight away he left off the common illusory body and emerged like a hallowed sage with shining sacred thread and matted tresses looking like brahma himself seated on the lotus the celestial drums bear a thunderous roar the heavenly denizens broke out in glee and showered the kalpaka flowers on nandanar all the sacred servitors of thillai too folded their hands in adoration all other devotees were beside themselves with joy then the sage who had come to be known as the devotee who would go to the lord on the morrow approached the inner precincts to adore the lord first worshiping at the grand tower in in holy company in the presence of the lord he suddenly merged in the divine form and no one could see him thereafter the high servitors were amazed the sages broke out into praise thus did the lord out of his grace cut asunder the bonds of all karmas of the devotee and made him delight forever in the bliss of his lotus feet om namah shivaya